Hello and welcome back to our business tips. Michael Lapid here talking about what is the best structure for your business. And in this video, we're going to talk about trusts. And a trust is really not an entity. It's a legal relationship between three parties. And really what happens is you're taking one party and saying, I have this asset or these assets and I want you to hold on to them and manage them for the benefit of so-and-so in the future. So a type of, uh, an easy way to understand a trust would be a will. A will is a type of trust. So you have what's called the settler is the person who passes away. They settle all their assets. When they pass away, all their assets go into the will, right? All the, the will into probate. So during that time now, the executor who's like the trustee, the person that's responsible for those assets has to manage them, pay the taxes, deal with the will, the, the will rights, and then distribute all the assets to the third party, which is the beneficiaries. And maybe they're also a beneficiary too. That's okay. So with three parties, we have that settler who puts in the assets. We have the trustee who manages the assets and we have the beneficiary who receives the assets. Okay. And there's many types of trusts out there. Now the, the obligation of the trust and the trustee to manage this is to hold and, and at the best of their ability, fiduciary obligation to hold those assets and to manage them in the best of their abilities on behalf of the beneficiary. That's the purpose of the trust. Okay. It's not a legal entity. It's arrangement for the future. Technically. Now there's many advantages. We can split income, including capital gains after the fact, which is rare. You know, we can uh, also multiply the small business deduction limit in certain cases if we have multiple trusts, right? We can multiply that capital gains exemption we were talking about where each person gets close to a million dollars in tax-free money if they sell certain companies, each of the beneficiaries. We can pass, its ass we can pass assets on tax-free when someone passes away because they're in the trust, they're not in their hands. We can provide great creditor protection because trusts are pretty impenetrable and they provide great liability protection or asset protection. You can maintain control of your property without owning it. That's a very good key. You can make the rules for your next generation of trust. You can guide, say, this is what I want the next generation, my kids, my grandkids, whatever. This is the rules of how they're going to get the money, when they're going to get the money, what's going to happen, right? You may not lead lawyers or executors upon death if everything's in trust. I mean, not everybody does that, you know. And you can choose between fully discretionary or non-discretionary trust. Fully discretionary means you have full discretion to do whatever you want, whenever you want. Or you can say no non-discretionary, we've got three beneficiaries, just even each time. You have that choice. Disadvantages, they're quite expensive to set up. They're minimum $5,000, never mind if you have restructuring on top of that to do. The longer you wait, the more difficult it gets to set up because you have more assets to move around now. And it requires continual planning to maximize the trust. Those are the disadvantages. But again, if you want all the benefits, sometimes you got to go through the drawbacks too. Got questions, you want to know more about trust or any of this structuring stuff, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Post in the comments below. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.